most importantly, what I what I really love is when um, a child will run up to their parent and show off the project, and the child is just beaming with pride of what they made, and the parent is excited to see that their their child was up to some, you know, interesting stuff while they were at the studio. And I think that if we can accomplish anything by teaching kids creativity, if they can just hang on to that, a little bit of that creativity throughout their childhood and into, their, into adulthood, I think that we've accomplished great things. Probably the most fun we have at the studio is when we do what we call messy time, which the kids get to have a little break from their project. We, we make silly putty, we play with shaving cream, we do all the great messy stuff that kids love to do that moms don't particularly care to have done in their kitchen because it's so messy. And the kids just love it and you know we might end up with shaving cream on our nose, we might, you know, just watching the kids get to, you know, just go crazy is a lot of fun. There are other art programs out there. Some are good, some are not good. Um, but what we do that they don't do is to have the, the studio, the brick and mortar studio location. And to be able to balance running our own studio and then partnering with um, our on-the-go partners as well. So we're able to create a synergy between the studio locations and the other locations. We can market to a, a, a broader range of customers. Year after year, we're see seeing gains. Year after year, you know, 20%, 15%. I mean, we're seeing really strong years. Even, you know, this location's been open eight years and we're still consistently seeing those increase in, in revenue. And the reason is, is because you can always pick up the phone and call another daycare or call another community app program. And there's so many, so many potential on-the-go customers out there that it far um, greatly exceeds the your customer base at the studio. That if you're feeling like you need more business, pick up the phone, find that business. It's not a matter of just sitting back and waiting for customers to come to you. It's you can be as aggressive as the studio owner wants to be to bring that business to them.